Hello, and welcome to Kazakai Karate. Allow me to show you a glimpse of our school with testimonies from some of our instructors and students and an exclusive interview with the founder of Kazakai Karate, Shihan Sensei Goro. Enjoy. My name is Nermiad Mehmedovich, and I am second degree black belt. My name is Brad Maliki. I'm the Shodan, which is a first degree black belt. Hi, uh, my name is Jared Boynton. I'm a second degree black belt, which is a Nidon. Hi, I'm Sean Lee Hotch. I'm a Nidon second degree black belt in Shotokan Karate. Mm -hmm. My name is Akeem Carter. Uh, I'm a red belt. Hi, my name is San Quach, and I am a Sandan at Kazekai Shotokan Karate. My name is Steve Damarest. I'm a Shodan or first degree black belt. Hello. My name is Greg Morrison. I am a Sandan, that is third degree black belt. I've been studying martial arts for over 20 years now, and I've been with uh, Shihan Sensei Goral since I was 10. And my biggest takeaway from this is that we are encouraged to teach you may go to other dojos and see plaster on the walls of we are a black belt dojo, as if that's the end to this means of karate, as if that's the final goal is to reach black belt. When it really isn't, here you're encouraged to learn as a student, and as you go up in rank, you are then encouraged to teach the newer students. And as the saying goes, when you teach, you learn twice. And as I've explored, uh, being older now, I've visited other countries and other dojos, including Japan. And one thing I find so fascinating and that I love so much, and that really reinforces the honesty in what we teach, is the lessons I've learned in other countries. I've been able to recall what I've been taught here. Uh, and it's that reflection that I have that just reinforces that honest, hard work, traditional Japanese martial art that I just love so much. I've been practicing karate for over 20 years. I started when I was a teenager back in my country, Bosnia. And then my daughter, when she grew up a little bit, I've been driving around and she saw the sign outside. It says uh, Shorokan Karate. So we decided to step in and see what, what is it. So that, that's the time when I met one of the Kazakai black belt, Mr. Morrison, and I been talking to him and decided to sign my daughter in. That was something that I was looking for. And he introduced me to Sensei Goro. I've been talking to him and after we well, talk to him, I decided to join Kazakai too. And I've been here for almost three years. These people that I'm practicing with, they are so good. That's why I decided to put all my kids in Kazakai, and we are all Kazakai. I've, I've been involved with karate for a number of years and trained with a lot of different schools. And what I like about this school is it's a traditional Japanese Shotokan school. And it's very hard to find that type of school as you go around to different areas of the country. There's a lot of other schools that you know may act like traditional Japanese schools, but this is definitely one that is, has its roots in Shotokan Karate, which is what I was trained in throughout my entire mm -hmm. background, which I really enjoyed to do. I've been practicing karate with Kazakai Shotokan since I was 16, on and off. The reason why I practice karate is because I want to be able to defend myself and the ones closest to me. And if need be, I want to defend people who can't defend themselves. Uh, my goal is to become a police officer. Uh, that's what I'm striving to be. And, and that's why I practice the martial arts. I've been doing uh, Kazakai Karate for about 10 years now. Um, I first started with my son. My son started ahead of me and convinced me to, to start karate with him. He says it'd be a good exercise, something for us to do as a family, and, and he was 100% correct with that. Um, I learned pretty quick that um, this whole place, the whole karate system, uh, especially with Kazakai, is one big happy family. Um, we've enjoyed it. My son and I both uh, achieved our first degree black belt back in 2014. 
Um, I come here, I forget about life for a while. We practice our katas, it's great exercise. Um, I'm a police officer, I've been a police officer for over 20 years and I find that it helps with my job, it builds with confidence. Um, I find karate to be a great stress reliever, it's good mental stimulation. And like I said, it's, it's just such a, a great atmosphere. Every week I learn something, every week I go home a little sore, but it, it, it's one of those good sores that you know the next day that you had a good workout and that, uh, that you're waiting for the next class to learn more. I'm amazed that people of all ages, from young kids to, to very old people, can do this um, and, and, and progress constantly. Um, age is, is, is not a barrier here. Um, we're either young or, or old. You can, you can do karate um, at all different skill levels and all different abilities. Sensei ingrained in us a spirit of um you know, the dojo-kun, you know, the ethics, the values which we live by, seek perfection of character, refrain from violent behavior, endeavor, respecting others, and being faithful. Um, these are the core values that which guide how I function and behave in society. A lot of times, you know, we learn to kind of think on our own that we, kind of, we had to develop ourselves individually from analyzing the kata, the kumite, all the, the striding. But I learned the value of discipline, setting goals, and working until you get it right. Uh, I've been here at this dojo for about five and a half years. Um, I first came to take pictures of my grandchildren and my son who were here at this dojo. Uh, and I thought it would be fun to join with them. And so even though I came initially to be with my family, I also just really like it. Um, I was a teacher for 35 years, um, physical education and health education. Uh, I see the benefits of this being uh, not just physical, but mental, uh, spiritual. It helps you be a better person. Uh, for me, being 69, 70 in another week or so, uh, I find that, that mentally it really helps me me focus, helps me really exercise my mind and my body both. Um, I like it because it's real karate. I've seen other grandchildren uh, do not real karate <laughs> and I enjoy the discipline we have here and the fun we have, the really high quality of the people here and uh, I really have gotten a lot stronger, more flexible and I plan on doing it forever. <laughs> I enjoy it very much. I decided to make the leap into, uh, you know, into the, the martial arts world. I'd never trained before in any type of organized martial arts whatsoever, and the whole class, and especially Sensei, was so kind of welcoming and said, "Yeah, you know, get up off the bench, kick off your shoes, and, and come and try." And so, just the whole family atmosphere, kind of, and the welcomeness of coming in and, and trying something new, um, was certainly made it easy for me to, to do. One of the things I used to love the most is after we'd be working out for 20 or 30 minutes, he'd say, okay, everybody take a seat. And so everybody would sit down and he'd teach us something, something, you know, uh, whatever it might be, either explaining something about a fist or a punch or explaining uh, how a particular move or a particular uh, function transformed throughout time, through where, you know, how it's very, the beginnings of the roots of a particular block or a punch or something. And I always found that interesting and it always engaged me and always kept me interested. I think even the younger students, especially for the younger kids, um, I always found that he encouraged them to succeed and pushed them just far enough so they could succeed but not make their goals unattainable um, so they would be discouraged and not come back. Um, so I always thought that was you know, a great thing about his teaching and about the way he conducts classes. If you would introduce yourself. Hi, my name's uh, Robert Goro, and I've been uh, studying martial arts and particularly Shotokan Karate for about 45 years. And um, it's, been, uh, it's been my life that time, all that time. And if you would give a brief explanation of your history with karate. Well, my history with the martial arts probably began when I was in the, the, uh, in the Army back in the 60s. Um, 
I was a uh, drill instructor at, at Fort Lewis after coming back from overseas. And um, one of the things that I, I did was uh, as a hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor. Um, it was good because uh, I enjoyed it a lot, plus I got to throw the big guys around. It always looks better if the, if the little guy is throwing the big guy around rather than uh, vice versa. The combat martial arts, or the hand-to-hand the, uh, -hand combat as it re was referred to back then in the Army, was a combination of, of, of Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, and Karate. Um, and that's what really got me going. So when I got out of the service, um, I was looking for something that would uh, would uh, catch my interest, and uh, after a pretty long search, I found out that that was Shotokan. And who was your first instructor? First instructor was um, Sensei uh, Bill Damon. Uh, we were both uh, we were both students of uh, Haidehiko Ochiai. Uh, which was Washington Ru uh, Karate. And uh, I was involved in uh, Washington Ru for about eight years. And uh, then we did, uh, both Sensei Damon and I were, were, uh, were with uh, Shobukai, which was another type of Shotokan Karate. And uh, again, we did that for a number of years and probably another 10 years. And uh, then with uh, Robukai. Um, and Robukai was uh, was kind of a mix. Uh, Robukai is uh, Shindo Jinru and um, it's, it's very good, very good. I liked, I enjoyed my, uh, our time there. And then about 15 years ago uh, was when um, was when we founded uh, uh, Kazakai. And being the founder of Kazakai, why don't you take the title of master? Master's kind of a, it's a I think it's kind of a, a funny word, it's kind of a tricky word. It, it, it means that you, to me it means that you have, you've done it. You, you know everything, you can do everything and you don't make mistakes, that's not me. Um, I continue to learn all the time, I continue to learn. Um, Actually, I continue to learn because I'm pushed by my by my young black belts in particular. They keep me sharp, keep me on my toes. Have to keep one step ahead of them. I think I'd probably uh, get bored with it if I knew everything about something. Um, master's just one of the. I have no problem with those who take that title, but uh, to me, it doesn't have. Uh, it, it doesn't carry a significant meaning for the way I feel about the martial arts. Um, when people call me sensei, um, that's more than uh, enough honorarium for me. And why do you teach karate? It keeps me young. It keeps me out of trouble. Um, I need the discipline. What I learned in the Army is that I'm a person who needs discipline. D discipline is, uh, is good for me. and. Uh, I think it's uh, the discipline is one of the things that's helped me do this for 47 years, um, and uh, that's what I that's what I like to do. It's 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 a good thing. It's it's a way of life. Everyone I've met, I think, would uh, benefit from karate, and I mean that sincerely, from uh, young children uh, to uh, to the very elderly in some form. Karate is not a cookie cutter, it's different for different people. But there's something in it for everyone. And it is something that you can do um, for forever. You mentioned that karate is good for everyone. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, it's the aspects of it. It's, it's the things that are out on a thousand um, schools outside, everyone says discipline and, and, and everything else, um, physical fitness. Uh, the mental part of it, uh, you know, we do meditation and um, many times in our adult class we'll do a, uh, a full meditation where we'll do 
Do Zen, um, Dachi Zen, um, all of these things that are good and cleansing for the mind, restful for the mind. Meditation is, um, everyone can do it. It doesn't mean it's easy to do. To be good at it, you have to practice and practice, practice. The rewards of it are, are, are fantastic to have your mind take a break. Um, but that's not easy because the mind's always working. Even when we're sleeping, the mind is working. And, and, and the, the problem that we have in modern society today is our minds are working overtime. And um, this, is a, this is a good break for it. The physical part of it is obvious. Uh, you know, the, the exercises we do, the uh, katas we do, which are also important, the uh, one-step sparring, the timing sparring, the uh, point sparring, all these things are, are good physically and also mentally. Um, the other aspect of it, of course, is the self-defense portion of it, uh, which we practice and we train for years and years, hoping we never have to use it. But having it and not using it is far better than not having it and needing it. So those are the three major um, portions of karate. And there's another one, there's a fourth one, and that is the camaraderie of it. As, as you're well aware, and you've been with me for many, many years now, um, it's very much a family thing with us. Um, everybody is welcome, um, everybody is cared about, everyone is helped. We all help one another, and um, it, it, it's, a, it's a good little world we live in. Okay, good. You mentioned a great deal on discipline. Could you expand more on the etiquette that's observed in a dojo? Sure. Uh, again, that's a, a big part of, of, uh, of, of our dojo and our karate life. Um, etiquette is very, very important. Etiquette uh, are the things that are acceptable and good that we do and pointing out the things that we shouldn't do. Um, having boundaries is good for us. Uh, to have no boundaries is not a good thing. Uh, I learned a long time ago with my own children and my grandchildren and, and all the children that we teach in the dojo. I, kids love boundaries. They may push up against them, but they want to know they're there. And the adults um, and the older children uh, in our dojo are there to show where the boundaries are and they learn where the boundaries are. Kids are very comfortable. They go to bed at night and, and can sleep better if they know that there are, there are boundaries and there are things that, uh, that they can't and shouldn't do. And there are also people there that will, will take care of them and protect them. Uh, but etiquette is very, very important. And at this point, I'd like to thank you for your time and finish off with one more question. If you could describe karate with one word, what would it be and why? One word. Uh, I'm going to have to cheat on this and use two words. One is a, just a little word, and say a life. Not life, because there's more to life than that. But it is a life. Shihan Sensei Goro, thank you very much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Morrison.